What's going on guys? Welcome to Wrist Watch Addiction, my dumb little channel here. And speaking of dumb, I accidentally bought a watch. Um, I purposely bought a watch. I accidentally bought the wrong watch. Um, yeah, that doesn't make more sense either, does it? Okay, let me explain. G-Shock sent me an email and in that email, um, they had a watch box for Father's Day that was a promotion. It was a three-piece uh, G-Shock watch box and it was really cool. And I said, wow, I want one of those. I'm going to buy a watch. So I immediately shopped for one I wanted, picked it, put it in my cart, paid for it, shipped it out, and uh, realized it's not part of the promotion. So we'll see if I'm going to keep this watch or not. The uh, Casio G-Shock, Casio Oak. Let's go. See you in a second. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a box to unbox down here. I've already opened with my knife, holding it closed while I show off this 1946 Omega, this time on a Strapsco suede strap. But this is the ad I was referencing before. Gift with purchase received a free watch a display case with the purchase of Select G-Shock watches. Now, I didn't pay attention to that. I just thought, what G-Shock watch have I sort of been thinking about for forever? And I bought it. So, I doubt when we get in here, you're going to find a three-piece watch case. And, of course, you do not. Just simply a packing slip and some bubble wrap. While packed nicely, I would have loved to have had that. But, it was an excuse to order a watch I had been considering ordering for, well, probably a year at this point. So, fairly basic outer box, the carbon core guard box with its uh, concrete design. Opening up this outer box, you're going to get, that's right, you're going to get a instruction manual. Giant and basic, just like all the other Casio G-Shocks. Nothing too extraordinary there. On to folding up this flap. We'll get into the main box. And uh, well, that's new. Um, usually you get a little foam pillow. It looks like you've got a little paper pillow now, a little construction board pillow now. So that's kind of janky. But I do like the, uh, uh, the box here. It does seem a little more squatty than a previous one. Let me grab this one. This one from the... Uh, um, steel, uh, definitely more squatted, uh, diameter's the same, height is a little shorter, so they've kind of, uh, they've kind of cut back on the boxes a little bit, still looks good, still happy with it, let's pop it open, if I can wiggle this open, we'll see what we've got inside, little foam padding, and then this is going to be your, uh, international warranty card, uh, comes with all G-Shocks, uh, if you do not get an international warranty card from the G-Shock dealer, uh, you know, well, you should get one. Uh, the GA2100 SKE7A is the watch I have purchased. You can see it's just kind of in that foam. It doesn't have a foam pad. So, um, yeah, they're kind of backing off of their packing, although it was packed well and uh, packed safely. You can kind of see a hint of the Casio Oak shape uh, through this packing material. And once we pull it out, you can see it's sort of the, uh, what I'm calling the jellyfish design. Casio, on the other hand, is calling this one part of their transparent pack series. A uh, number of watches with this same uh, case style. This is a carbon core guard watch, meaning that the uh, case itself is a carbon base resin uh, and uh, some of the internals are carbon based resin as well for shock resistance. 
It is very shock resistant, just like any other G-Shock. You just have the clear resin band and the semi-transparent carbon resin case as we see it outside in this beautiful yet windy day. Actually, let me, let me take this tag off really quick so it quits blowing. All right, that's a lot better. So beautiful case. I actually like this one better than the all black that was very, very difficult to find for quite a while. Uh, this one sort of difficult to find as well. It just sort of popped up on the uh, website and uh, one per customer. I'm one guy. So I figured, well, I'll pick it up. Um, it's done very similarly to the all black with your four screws holding the carbon core guard case back on. Quick release for the bands that I didn't show in the previous video, but I will show here. Um, your face in black with your uh, painted hands for the uh, uh, analog display, and then of course your digital. Let's take this thing off. Let's try it on on my six and three quarters wrist. See how this one fits. So fits very, very well. My six and three quarters wrist is now holding on to this 48.5 millimeter by 45.4 millimeter case and this is an 11.8 millimeter thick case so it's not it doesn't sit that high it sits about the height of some dive watches it's a really really large size by the numbers but it doesn't really fit that large i'd say it fits closer to like Maybe my Speedmaster Mark II, which is a 42 millimeter case. Uh, 42, 43 millimeters, that's kind of what it feels like. And part of it's probably that 45.4 millimeter lug to lug, which is fairly short. The lug width on this thing, by the way, once you take the uh, strap off, is just 16 millimeters. So, any strap other than a G-Shock replacement is going to look kind of weird. Uh, weighs in at just 51 grams, guys, so fairly light as well. Um, really, really like it. It's not overly light. Um, it's very legible. Again, much more legible than the all black, which I actually had a lot of trouble videoing and uh, taking photos of because uh, this flat... Um, mineral crystal it just reflected like crazy and being all black with no paint under it it was it was near impossible to get a good photo or good video so i, I already like this one better because it's much easier to read uh you have your uh, day of the week at nine in an analog fashion yeah hour and minutes in analog and then in the digital, you have your day and date as well as your seconds. Uh, taking it back off the wrist, we can get a closer look at this very clear resin band. This thing is very soft, very comfortable. I'm very impressed at how it feels because not all um, rubber or uh, silicone bands feel that good. Uh, Semi-transparent uh, carbon uh, keeper. Uh, to go along with this semi-transparent case. I can't quite reach that quick release. My fingers aren't, my fingernails, I should say, aren't deep enough. So let's, uh, let's modify that by just using this thing. Uh, got it off using a uh, spring bar tool, and I'll show you that now. It just, I had to dig down in there using the, uh, the little fork end of the spring bar tool like I would use for a traditional spring bar, except in this case, I just engaged that little uh, quick release and it popped right out, as you can see. And this way you can get on G-Shock, you can get some yellow or black or blue or orange or red or whatever color you want band to go on this one, guys. And I think it would look really good on any band for that matter. Um, it's being colorless, it really opens the door to pretty much whatever you want to put it on, not only the clear, but anything. 
And uh, speaking of the clear, I have it back on now, uh, and we can kind of go through the functions. You've got your adjust up at the top to adjust the time, which I won't do. I will just show you how it kind of works. Um, you can see the, uh, the main hands changing as well as the date changing, or the day of the week changing, I should say. Mode takes you through the uh, second, uh, one one hundredth second stopwatch your countdown timer, which is one second to 24 hours, your five daily alarms, your auto calendar, uh, and then your 12 to 24 hour formats. Um, really, really cool. You have five daily alarms on this one, guys. Your light up at the top uh, doesn't really do a whole lot in the daylight. And then your bottom adjust for start and stop of your countdown timer and your stopwatch and ending the alarms, that sort of thing. Not a super detailed review, this one. Just an unboxing and first look. I will go back over this one because I have decided I am going to keep this guy. Uh, we'll keep it long term. We'll play around with it. See what uh, see what I like about it, what I don't like about it in a month or two. Um, the mineral glass, we'll see how that holds up. But let's check out this light. Uh, it is a double white LED. So you have your LED for the uh, digital function. And then you have your LED for the main dial. And as you can see, the uh, hour and minute hands are loomed. I actually forgot about that. A uh, very good loom on the hour and minute hand. Would have been nice if those, uh, those uh, indices had been loomed as well. Uh, the the uh, second and a half light that's going on right now can be adjusted to up to three seconds. I just have yet to do that. I will do that before the next video, and we can kind of take a look at that three-second interval, which is going to be a lot better than the uh, one-and-a-half-second um, in total darkness. Uh, this is a 200-meter water-resistant watch, so you can take this swimming. You can take this diving. With the shock resistance and the carbon core guard base, it's a very functional watch. Looking next to the uh, World Time, the Casio Royale, I did try to slap a Casio, Casio Royale strap on it. Um, turns out it's 18 millimeter width, so it will not fit uh, on the uh, G-Shock uh, Oak case. So you're going to have to get a um, Casio Oak styled strap for the Casio Oak if you want to change purely the color of the strap, which they have on their website. Uh, you could also do one of these guys. It's a metal bezel rubber um, strap um, option off of eBay. I'll put a link in the description. It's kind of cool. I'm thinking about picking one of these up as well. Maybe this one from this guy, J's and K's on Instagram, looks awesome in uh, metal and leather. But back to the original resin, it's going to stay like this for a while. Um, I'm very impressed with just the overall look. I, I've been back and forth, I, literally on the fence about this watch ever since the clear version came out. Uh, the Casio Oak itself, ever since the original, since I reviewed uh, Scott Keeps Time's all black one, Scott Keeps Time on Instagram, go follow him, um, is uh, he would greatly appreciate that. I'm glad I picked up the clear I really do like it, guys. I'm looking forward to doing a follow-up review soon after I've had it for a while. But let me know what you think. What color would you have picked? And uh, do you have one now? Let me know in the comments below. Definitely do that. Like if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you aren't already because I'm giving away a watch at 2500